welcome back to my channel and to another youtube tutorial um today's tutorial has been highly 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 requested especially under my second video which was my eye color eye contact tutorial and so today's tutorial is going to be a screen tapped to change option for multiple colored contacts slash ui picker for multiple colored contacts. So I'm gonna show you two ways that you can do um, different colors. Um, and yeah, before we get started, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer and say, and apologize in advance for the um, background noises. I changed locations for the week. And if you're hearing like water sounds, it's the fish tank behind me. So I've just opened up um, the project from the second video, so the eye color tutorial, and um, I really suggest that you watch that one first if you want to know where I left off or how I even set it up. Um, this is the extension to that video, so I'm going to show you again how to do the screen tap and how to do the UI picker. So we're going to start off with the screen tap. Um, now there are a ton of ways to do this. If we make this a little bigger, you can see she's got the blue contacts on just like we did in that video. And I know I've seen a lot of people use the color patch where you just input different colors uh, according to the screen tab and it will input that color for the material. But because we're talking about eye color contacts, um, I don't like that. I don't like that method because I like to have control over each individual color. Um, as a separate material and not all grouped into one because each color is controlled differently. They're different. So, you know, you want to change um, the opacity depending on the vibrance of the color and you want to make sure that each color blends in to your natural eye contact. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And um, while this for <laughs> this way is sort of tedious and ignore the plane <laughs> um it it is going to give you kind of the best results so if you look under your face tracker you're going to see your eyes null object and if you open that up you're going to see your left and your right null object if you open these up you're going to see um your right and your left plane and you'll see that it's been set up your position your rotation and your um left and right eye close knot so that it closes when you blink and you don't see the contact so literally all you want to do let me just close these back up is first of all i'm going to rename this zero one because it is my first color you just want to right click and you want to hit duplicate and i'm going to name this zero two you want to hit right click and oops you want to hit duplicate and I'm going to name this 03. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys three different eye colors with the first one being that blue color. So if you can see, um, neither my second eye or my third eye and null object are paired into the patch editor. So they're showing up right here on her nose. So yes, we're going to have to relink everything for the other two so you want to click on your left eye panel for your second eye null object which is going to be your second color you want to click position rotation and visibility so the the left eye we're going to link to the left eye closed knot and this is going to um allow you to link multiple outputs or inputs and then you want to go here and you're literally just linking everything um so rotation position and then we're gonna go to our right eye and do the same thing so we're going to link this here and like i said this is kind of tedious um so bear with me and now we're going to close these back up 
and we're going to do the third eye. And as you can see, now they are all linked up and her contacts have um, become, the color has become more intense because you're basically layering the same color three times. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back in and open up the second one. We're going to click on our left eye plane and oh my god, there's just a bunch of planes out right now. Okay. We're going to click create new material so our new material is going to be called eye color 2 and you want to make sure that it's there click on the right eye plane and wait yep so got to change this one to this so now you'll have like little boxes we're going to close this up and do it to the third one as well so open up your null objects click create new material and we're going to call it eye color three click on the right eye one eye color three and now we're going to close this back up so you want to go to your second eye color and basically i'm just setting it up the same way as i have my blue contacts so flat first thing i'm going to do is uncheck advanced render options our texture is our iris we're doing the iris overlay um again i'm gonna blow through these pretty quickly because this stuff was in the first video so um let's do Let's do that. Let's go. I think that's it for that one. We're going to go to the eye color three. Do the same steps, changing the texture to the iris, changing this to the iris overlay. And as you can see, we're back to our contacts here. We're deselecting this, changing this to screen, and changing this to 26. Um, I believe that's what this. Oh let me change this one to 26 as well so that they're just all the same <sighs> okay now for your second eye color we can do like a let's do like a caramel brown like a hazel um i guess something like this yeah that's fine um you're not going to be able to see it right now but you will be able to in just a bit we're going to click our environment color and you basically want to do the same kind of settings. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do something like that. All right. And let's go into our third eye color. And I'm just going to do like a gray. There's no need for me to fix the color that much on gray. So let's do... Let's do it like that. And now... Now that we have our eye colors, we're going to um, move on to the screen tap portion. So... You want to go to your device, you want to click choose an instruction, and it's going to be tap to change. So this is going to tell the user, um, I'm just moving it up, this is going to tell the user that you just want to tap on the screen to change. And if you zoom in here, it's going to prompt the instructions for 5 seconds, and it's going to say tap to change. So all you have to do now is right click on your patch editor and click screen tap you want to input that in i'm going to zoom in so you can see it better you want to click counter this is going to tell it how many screen taps there are going to be how many different you know screens so we're going to do three because we have three different eye colors 
you want to pull out from here and you want to type in equals exactly. I'm going to command C, copy it, and then paste it back up again because I need three of these. All right, so you can see there are input numbers for second number, right? So for the first one, you're going to leave it at zero because this is what your starting screen is. You're starting at zero and you're starting with your blue contacts. So you want to click on your eyes one, click visibility and link it. And this is exactly why I do three different nulls or two different null objects inside of the plane. So you have three chances to use the visibility option. You want to go on your second one and click visibility and you're going to link it to your second option. And you want to change this number to one because this is going to be the first option after your starting point. You want to change the third one to two. And then you want to go to your third eye and you want to click visibility. And now she's back to her blue contacts. If you simulate touch, you can start it over and you'll be prompt the instructions tap to change. You click it. She now has caramel eyes and gray eyes and back to blue eyes. So it's going to prompt those three colors. And that's how you do the screen tap change eye colors. It's super easy, super simple. Um, it's just kind of tedious having to link everything to the face tracker. But now I'm going to show you how to do the same process using the UI picker. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything I just did <laughs> except for, you know, the linking of stuff. So now in order to use the UI picker, you're going to have to go to project edit properties and you want to deselect Facebook because this is not a capability that Facebook has. So it's not going to allow you to put it in. So now you want to go to your patch editor and you want to right click and you want to search for UI, oops, UI picker. And it's going to be this long thing right here. And then we do have to change the instructions. So I'm going back up to my device, choose instructions, and you were going to do tap and slide to change. And that should come up right here. And I'm just going to move it up to align everything. Again, you're being prompted these instructions for five seconds. So here's what the UI picker patch looks like. You want to click visibility because you want it to show on screen. And now we're kind of doing something similar as the screen tab. So where it's a selected option index, we're going to pull out and we're going to type in equals exactly. And it's going to be kind of the same process where you're going to copy paste it. Or you could look it up again and then, you know, input it in again. I just think copying and paste it is uh, quicker and easier. Okay, so now you want to change this number to one and you want to change this number to two. We're going to go to our eyes one, link it, eyes two, link it to the second option, eyes three, and we're going to link it there. And now, as you can see, our starting index, again, it's going to be the zero number, so it's your, your starting uh, with the blue contacts. Okay. Now, what you need is you want to add textures, which are picture icons to show people um, what they're clicking on. So the reason I encourage you to use the UI picker for eye color contacts uh, over the screen tap is because a lot of people are discouraged from the screen tap when you have a lot of options. So say that they don't like the first three eye contact colors but they really love the fourth one they're gonna have to click through it four times and they might skip it and it's just like a hassle to get through if you use the ui color picker the user has easy accessibility to choosing the eye color that they want so let me show you that i am going to input some uh, eye color indicators that I've actually done for a filter 
that I've uploaded. So let me just input these really quickly. So here we have our caramel color. Uh, here we have our blue color. And again, I'm clicking no compression on all of these assets. And here we have our gray one, no compression. What you wanna do is you wanna drag these in in the order that they are. So the first one is the blue contact. So you wanna link that to texture one. And as you can see, it's showing up on the screen already. Second color is the contact ones. You wanna link that to texture two. And here's the second option. Now you just, what you're doing, what I'm doing is basically I'm just dragging it into the patch editor and connecting it. So there goes your three options. And what I love about this is just that like, it's so easy. You can just see it and pick. So, you know, you click on the caramel one, changes to caramel, gray changes to gray, blue changes to blue. It's just so much easier for the user um, to pick instead of, you know, screen tapping multiple times. But like I said, uh, it's totally up to you, whatever you wanna do. Um, and these pictures can be numbers, they can be the eye color, you know, whatever you can do to make it easier for the user, it's going to create, um, it's just going to be, it's going to make them come back and use the filter more just because it's easier for them, you know, <sighs> but that's, that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm going to input a, a shot, a screenshot of me using the color picker so you can see it's quite easily and it just takes a little bit more time but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment below letting me know what other tutorials you want to see i am working on another one um but yeah let me know what you guys want to see and i'll put it on my list for future tutorials thank you guys so here's what it looks like on your screen you're able to slide through and click on um, each contact color and of course it changes whenever you click on it so that's all there is to it thank you guys for watching um yeah don't forget to subscribe bye